Hi, this is JP LaForest from EfficientAnalyst.com. In this video, we're going to go over the Excel functions for sum, average, count, min, and max. If you'd like to download this spreadsheet, you can go on the EfficientAnalyst.com website in the blog for this function, and you'll be able to see uh, a download link so you can download the file and follow along or you can use the same formulas in any other spreadsheet you have open. So in the bottom here, we have some sections where we're going to be putting the formulas in. And so the first one we're going to use is the sum function. And as with any function in Excel, you start with the equal sign and we put sum and open the parenthesis and select the range of the data we want to sum up. And you close the parenthesis and press enter. So as you can see, it's going to give you the sum of everything, every order that we have here, and it comes up to $4,090. The next one that we're going to use is the average function. And again, you open the parenthesis afterwards. And you select the range, close the parenthesis, and press enter. So you'll see that the average of all those orders is 204. Now, if you want to see what's the highest value or the maximum value, again, you type max, open the parenthesis, select the range. And let's say you forget to close down the parenthesis and press enter you'll see that in some versions of Excel, Excel will figure out that you should be closing it, so it'll do it for you. Or it might give you a little pop-up to say, do you want me to close the parenthesis? And you can click uh, OK or Yes, and Excel will uh, fix it for you automatically. And for the minimum value or the lowest value, again, we use the min function this time open the parenthesis before the range and close it afterwards. And we can see now that the highest value is 750 and the lowest is 35. And finally, a really useful one is the count. And the count, we can use it on any column. It doesn't have to be on a number. So we could say, for example, uh, you know, what's the count? Uh, of orders and we're going to randomly select a column here to say that it is uh, you know 20 orders that we have and we can see that you know because we had numbered them before 1 through 20 those are all uh, the 20 orders that we have available now the other piece that you can do is as you can see here in uh, the tooltip that pops up you have the sum and then parenthesis and you could put number one comma number two and so forth. So we could do sum of D2, which is the cell here, comma this one, comma this one. And we'll just uh, Go through the list until all of them are there and close the parenthesis and you'll see the same result. So whether you do it one at a time, if you want to just select a few or something like that, or do the entire range like that is up to you. And the final uh, useful feature that Excel has for this is in the bottom right, you'll notice when you select a range, you have some things that are automatically getting calculated. So you already have the average, the count, and the sum. And if you right click on your bar in the bottom, you'll see that you have other options you can activate. So you can put the minimum, maximum, and numerical count. So then at this point, you have all of these other things uh, that will automatically calculate anytime you change it. And you'll see that as I make different selections, Excel will find a new minimum, maximum, sum, and average, count, and so forth.
And if we take the numerical count versus the count, so in, the, in this case, the difference is because we selected the header, which uh, includes text. So the count does include it of 21 rows, but the numerical count will only look at which one has numbers in it. So we'll see, we have, you know, 21 things selected, but only 20 of them are numbers and it'll do the calculations based on the numbers only that are selected. And finally, if you go in the other tab uh, over here, the order is completed. You have basically the same uh, exercise book we were working in, except we already have the formulas put in for you. So this is uh, kind of, as you work on it, you can verify that you're getting to the same results. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment box below. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.